This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Zombie, get dizzy. All right. Call the draw a square function from inside your draw, draw a line of squares function to make it even easier. So here's draw. Okay. So what they're wanting us to do is have one function call another function. So these are our functions, draw a line of squares, draw squares. So draw three squares, I guess, is drawing a line then of our squares. Hmm. And so what we're going to be doing is squares are 50 apart. That's what we need to know. So loop, but up, draw a line of squares. How many squares? We have three of them. And what do we want to do? Well, we're going to want to draw a square and then what then I'm gonna draw um, so if the squares are 50 pixels around droop, 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 and I'm not sure if they provided this it's the same function we created in the last lesson so if you don't have it go look at that um, draw a square and then since the squares are 50 pixels apart that means this corner to this corner is 50 pixels so if I stop here, which is what I would do if I go around and draw a square, if I stop here, I would need to jump forward 100 pixels to get, actually get to 50 plus 50 is 100. So jump forward 100. So what I'll do then is I'm going to draw a square, draw a line of squares, runs. So when run, zoop, draw a line of squares, zoop, repeat three times, draw one square, zoop, jump forward by 100, zoop, hits the bottom. Okay, second time through, draw a square. And what draw a square does is it calls, it runs this, draw a square. So, zoop, repeat four times. And that's because each time it draws one side of square once, zoop, twice, three times, four times. And then I would have this square done because once the function runs, we just go right back to the code where it ran. And I'm here. So then the next line after we run this whole function is draw, is jump 100 pixels forward, boom. Hit the bottom, third time through, draw a square. We run this code four times. Once that's done, hit here, and we would jump. But I think we'll be done. Let's give it a shot. Ta-da! Awesome. So, you can do it a bit slower next time. But this stuff is tricky, but yes, functions can call other functions, and it really makes code easier to read. Let's uh, keep going.